guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you guys can see, during the CB, I thought it was the perfect time to go and do some plastic surgery on my face. So now I have a small, little, tiny face. This is actually the tiny face challenge and it started by somebody called Jamie French and I just thought it was so funny so I decided to try it out on myself. So if you want to find out how I did this makeup look, here's how. First thing I'm going to do is to put on some primer. So that my pores cannot be seen. Alright, I'm going to be doing my foundation next. The top half of the face is just pretty much normal makeup. It's just the nose part that is more interesting. I've been so bored at home, guys. Oh my god. Just being an auntie and cleaning up my room and cleaning up the mold in my house. I have been cleaning my house before like CB started. But when CB like went along, right, it was just like, okay, I might as well just spend all my time doing this shit. Right now, like house renovations are not allowed to go on. So a lot of the things I actually wanted to get my contractor to do it for me. Now I'm just doing it myself instead. Like I just bought wallpaper from Taobao and I'm going to put the new wallpaper on top of my old wallpaper, which is not what I'm supposed to do. But I had enough of waiting already. Who knows when renovation works will, you know, go on again. Okay, so now for the brows, I'm going to be putting on some brown mascara in a pinky colour. Okay, so the brows are lightened. I'm going to be drawing my brows right now. Okay, I'll touch up this like lighter part later on with a darker brow pomade. But right now, let's do the other side first and let it kind of dry. I just want to complain, right? That I'm so sick of CB content. It's just like people who are doing fitspo, who are showing off their food and their cooking. And a lot of the times, I'm sorry to say this guys, but it's not worthy of a photo you're cooking. If you're cooking just Maggi Me with some abalone on it. I understand you're just sharing, but like, why are you wasting my megabytes? And then right, I hate all the cooking content because it always makes me feel like I want to eat stuff. And like during this CB, I feel like I gained a lot of weight already. So like, I don't want to see anymore. Stop. I would like to see people clean up their house, I guess, tidying shit. So that's my like new thing. I'm, I love like seeing transformations of like rooms and see how people organize their stuff. Recently, I like watching like pimple popping videos. I think it goes hand in hand with the like getting your room neat kind of videos because it's like a bit OCD, right? You want to see something that's very bad and then it becomes very nice and clean. All right, I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow next. I am going to be using this shade called Doll Face because it's pink. Matches my top. Next, I am just going to be putting a very default brown eyeshadow. This one is called Coco. Brown just can't go wrong, man. Brown is the best. Everyone suits brown eyeshadow. You know what is the worst eyeshadow colour in my opinion? Black or grey. It always makes people look very dirty. Like very few people can actually master it properly. So if you're a novice, try not to put on grey eyeshadow. Also most people look quite bad in blue. You know what? I blame Barbie for this because she has like blue eyeshadow, right? So everyone thinks that it's the nicest one to put. Okay, so doing my eyeliner now, I'm using my own Plastic Cosmetics Magnetic Liner. So right now, I'm going to line under my eyes with some brown liner. Right now, I'm going to just put on some mascara using XL Lash Up Mascara. This mascara is really quite amazing for bottom lashes. I love it. I would say that both the formula and the brush are pretty good. A lot of the Angmore brands, I feel like the Angmore girls tend to use their mascara that's for like top lashes. So their brushes tend to be very big. 
And I don't use mascara for my top lashes, obviously, because I don't have much of it. I only use it for my bottom and I feel like generally smaller brushes are much better. I'm done with my eye makeup, so next is the daunting part, which is to draw the little nose. Let's start with that. I'm putting some bronzer on my forehead. This is my newest favourite palette and it's got like three layers, right? So I love all the three things that are inside. It's got like a bronzer, a blusher and the top one is a highlighter. So right now, I'm putting the bronzer on my forehead. Okay, let's start with drawing the nose now. I'm going to highlight first and I'm using Kat Von D's concealer here. It's very very light so I love it for highlighting and I'm just going to use my finger to dab 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 a little bit. It may be a better idea to draw the mouth first. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to draw the little outline of the little mouth. With the mouth, there's a little cupid's bow. I think I can't help it that my little nose is a little bit crooked because my own nose is a little bit crooked. So, so be it. Let's do the little highlights and um, shadowing that's for the nose. <laughs> it just looks so stupid. Right now, I'm going to do some shadowing where I think the nose shadow should be. Okay, going to put on some highlighter now on my little nose. I'm going to be putting some of the lighter coloured concealer. The same Kat Von D one right here. So it doesn't look so odd that's dark here and then light over there. So next, I'm going to try to put on the lipstick. For Jamie French, she put on like a black liner for the lipstick but I feel like that makes it look a bit fake. So I'm going to try it without the liner first. If it doesn't work, then I'll put the liner on. Right now, I'm putting a base coat of a hot pink colour. This is Lime Crime Velveteen in the shade Flamingo. It's so weird to be putting lipstick on your nose. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> this tiny little face just doesn't look pretty because she has a very protruding mouth. And this nose line just cannot really be helped, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna use my eyebrow pencil to line the lips just a little bit underneath because with the normal lips, you do get a bit of shadow here. To make the lips a little bit more 3D, I'm gonna put a darker shade in the middle. I'm just going to be putting on my blusher now and I'm just using my liquid eyeliner in the same shade, Flamingo. You know what? I can't even see my own face anymore after I draw this. I feel like this is like amazing camouflage. So if you want to commit a crime, right, you should do this. Because technically, you can still enter a bank without a mask, but nobody can recognise you. Like, who can tell how I really look like? Oh my god, you know what I'm going to try? I'm going to try to see if my phone can recognise me. The face ID worked. <laughs> Shocking. Now for some contour. And I'm using my Tarte palette again. Make the face here a bit smaller. I'm giving her some highlight as well. I'm just using the same highlighter. This is the Benefit highlighter in Cookie. I think I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to be putting on my mask. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so funny! I cannot! This is like so authentic, I can't deal with it. Okay, I feel like the hair needs to cover the face a little bit more. So she has a smaller face. I mean, she already has a very small face.
Okay guys, as you can see, I've achieved my dreams of having a tiny face. I'm very pleased with the results. I think I'll put this makeup on all the time. No one's face can be smaller than mine. Alright, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and maybe brought a little bit of a smile to your face. So if you like this video, remember to hit the like button, the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so you get notifications every time a new video comes out. And thank you very much for watching guys. See you. Bye.